Good day, lords and ladies. Welcome to RimWorld Anomaly Till Dawn's End. With me, Cornish Knight and Sergeant Colonel. <laughs> Outpost Log 5. Day 7. The outpost has been expanding. Facilities are in place. And we've expanded the outer compound limits. Uh, there was a report of screaming coming from the southern quadrant and on investigation around the woman had been found mauled to death by a cougar. Her remains were brought inside the facility and cremated. On another note, our new arrival arrived from the employed from the mercenary website company. Not quite what I was expecting, but Private Swine has proved himself to be a capable soldier at least, and knows how to shoot and can act as a general deterrent for any untoward situations developing in the colony. He seems to be a hard worker, if his appearance is a little bit odd. We have set him up for the time being in the, in the med bay until we can get some more quarters built. We are currently expanding the workings of the facility and are coming along with research. There is nothing been else to report. Sergeant Colonel, Research Outpost 36. So, that is the Sergeant's report. And as he finishes, we get an area revealed right at this moment. Okay, so it's in here. So it's just a little pocket, nothing to be worried about. So yes, last episode, not a lot happened. Just going along, getting stuff done as we normally do. So we need to get we need to get wood. Really, um, we're painfully low on it. So let's get everything switched back on. Get people moving around. Okay. Right. So. The lathe is done, so we can do the amp and the ac, or we can go back to some basic stuff. Clothing recycling would be good, but drug production is probably the next thing we need to get. Uh, but everything's gonna take. Everything's gonna take. Um, what's it called? It takes here notromine, notromine um, which we can't normally make. We can make in this mod, but it requires rim filler, and you basically need to do that, which is produces notromine from stored chem fuel, which we can do, which is probably something we do want to do. Um, biofuel is probably something else we need to think about as well. Build biofuel refineries to make chem fuel from biomolecular metal like wood or foodstuffs. Will also give us access to vehicles, which will also be good. Machining is probably something else we want to do. Get some basic wet. I think we have to do machining. Yeah. Before we do anything else, machining is something we need to get done. So that needs to get done pronto. That's going to take us time to chop through because that's a lot of iron or steel. Okay. That needs to get cleared out. That's going to take us a second or two to clear. How's our food situation? Food situation is okay. Jack, Pro Jackson is doing his hardest.
One second, please. Right. That's coming along, Reese. It's coming along. Finishing up, finishing up this, we will get this reinstalled and just tuck it out of the way in here. But yes, there's a lot of recreation variety now that we have. Uh, I probably need to build another. Right, I'm going to destroy this destroy that bench there and we're going to build another one of these it'll give us some breathing room we just we just have such little storage at the moment it's problematic okay so that's being cleared up and the soldiers are sleeping Everyone's sleeping. Okay. You should have a pair of shoes on right now. Yeah, excellent pair of boots. Excellent. This will give us some breathing space. Problem is, this was a massive metal deposit which is really slowing down our progress. Okay. Get that hold. So yeah, they've been here seven days. So far, base not doing too badly. Research on objects is coming along fine. Rest available. The Solitary Dame. Lepis Ellis, a dame of the refugee empire, is calling from the by. Her guard was killed by an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting cat. Lepis wants you to keep her safe at a research outpost for a few hours until her subtle can pick her up. She will bestow eight honor. Okay. Why not? The uh, sergeant will get the honor. And it's a distress signal, and his orders are to, like... He's not a heartless person. So you need to basically... You need to get to the research outpost, miss. Um, need med meditation spot. Well, yeah. How about no? Um, the cat turning up might be a problem, but we can deal with that. So yeah. Private Swine gets over the, uh, the comm link. Someone is crying for help. Crying for help. Okay. So she comes running in. She only needs to be here for a few hours. She's not like she can actually. Need to turn room back on. Not like she can actually do anything. Um. Yeah. So so that's the best she can do. She's incapable of anything else really. Medical. She's really good at. But. Like these guys are a vas of from a vassal nation. Of the uh, these guys can control everything. These are basically uh, the big boys. Yes, he's from which is he's from. If I recall correctly, yeah, refugee empire, an ultra the ultra ultra tech refugee society from the planet of so Sophomomunda. Their culture is based on the code honor, strict class system, and enforced and social structure. Yeah. So, we're probably like, we're basically here probably as like a vassal nation has been sent to deploy to research, to this research, I suppose. And these, this, this super advanced civilization is asking for our assistance. So, we're probably not going to say no. Especially since we have the cap to carry out research. Okay. Cat has arrived. The cat that Lupus's thing is right has turned out to be quite gentle and not aggressive at all. And do we want to tame it? That's the question. Which raises the question like, if this cat isn't actually that dangerous, how how did it die? Um that is uh, that is the question. I don't think we have anybody that's good at taming. Uh, handling 
Uh, we've got Private Swine, E7. Yeah, okay, fine, let's tame the cat. Nice to have a sight cat, maybe. Turn you off, you can go and do your own thing, don't really care. The sergeant's a bit annoyed. Colonel would be like, eh. Like, you basically wasted my time on this. We had more important things, like we were, we were expecting something to come out of, like, attack us. You said there was something chasing you. And it's like, you said like some kind of rabid, like rabid cat. And we got here and it's basically, it's like a house cat that's probably followed you. It does make me wonder what happens to your security detail, though. What well, maybe there's machinations at play. Who knows with the realm of more of like imperialistic royalty, what kind of cloak and dagger shenanigans get on? Okay. If you know this worked on, fantastic. Sustain the cat. It's now called Cat One. No, let's let's rename the cat. Needs. Normally you can rename animals. Okay, there we go. Uh, we can't do anything. We're going to rename it. It's something called. Uh, let's choose something. Bob the cat. Welcome to the colony, Bob. Um, also. If RimWorld has told me anything, it's told me that having a cat on, on site is important if for nothing else as, as if, if just to keep out mice. Okay, so you can sleep in here, Bob. Probably want to keep Bob within the home zone. Don't want Bob to be going too far. You know, there's a lot of nasty things, and plus there's some animals out here. Right, machine cabinet, machine table, prototype ready, so we can make a prototype. Machining table. We'll slot it in here. We have some wood left. Okay. Subtle has arrived. To collect. That's a nice animation. Yeah. Get on the subtle and leave, lady. You got things to do. Free hold title game for subtle kerno. Yeah. Quest completed. And off you go. And you leave us to our machinations once again. Welcome to Outpost, Research Outpost 36, Bob. Like any cat, you can go wherever you want because you can't really stop a cat from doing what it wants to do. Okay. That's our food situation. Doesn't look great. Poor Private Jackson, all you're doing is cooking, my friend. Yeah, problem is I can't even get at the the things up here to do with talent, like you have outstanding talent, that kind of thing, because of the personality stuff. A little bit annoying, I have to switch it off from time to time just so I can actually get access to things, but it just happens. I do like the fact that we have a personality stuff. Okay, so that's damaged, but we can fix it. And with that up to date, we can actually start making some prototype gear. Nothing outstanding. 
I'm uh, not going to lie, like some gas masks. The helmets are nice. We can shred mechanoids, not that we ever got to have any mechanoids, but... You never know in, in this game. We can shred androids. Shred those androids. Okay. Set order. Bob. That's your bed, Bob. Okay. Yeah, with the amount of people that are here, it's probably wise now to put down a growing zone. I'm going to throw rice as it's an easy and effective food source for the colony. Uh, you're okay at growing private swine, so you're going to help. Uh, Jackson help with the planting because you've got nothing else better to do. Research on machining is coming along nicely as well. I might actually line up another tool belt. Yeah, construction speed would probably be a good thing to have. Okay. And it's taking a long time. This amount of iron is no joke, or steel is no joke. Okay. Yeah, sleep and food. It's tamed 100%. Once we get through this hard rock surface, we should be okay. Like this steel is what's really slowing us down. Okay. Playing the old basketball. Getting some rice planted. Because my plan for this is that we'll get this expanded maybe have like a bit of a grow zone here but up here we'll basically have a full-on proper like lab laboratory setup turn this whole thing into like a research wing for the researchers so we can move the research team out of the facility and have them sort of set up outside I'm thinking of probably putting the barracks like the barracks up here or maybe we could move the thing is I want to keep the workshop and everything relatively together I don't know Maybe put a barracks with their own separate little like eating area up here for when we get more people, because this area isn't going to be sustainable for very long. Okay. Man, we are really filling up on on research. Okay. Stuff is getting made. Bill wise. I probably want to put a weapons locker down. Storage, yeah, weapons cabinet. We've got enough steel for it. Let's put one there. I did see animals that, that meet storage rack. Let's put that there as well. Okay. Temperature inside here is starting to get a wee bit high. So let's turn off that. Turn off that. Okay. Kind of place some chests with Bob to keep him company. Okay. Yeah, I might double up on the thickness of the outer doors. Just for security.
Get some more boots made. I need to get this in order. So it's an absolute mess. out. I need to make a uniform for combat jackets. Let's see. So the only thing we can make is that. Yeah, rapid assault shirt is a form of shirt. To cover up the upper body for what is breathable. So yeah, we don't have the uniform yet for okay. That's okay. Alrighty then. Make more components. I am going to put down one of those here and here just to help us keep on top of the rubbish situation. Okay. It's general site repair work. I have to do that maintenance. Just keep on going with the day. Marriage song, Dr. Sumet proposed a life and commute to Dr. Cosma. Dr. Cosma agreed and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days of quadrums, they will have their marriage ceremony. Okay. Well, that is a bit of a bizarre thing to do in the middle of a situation like this, but okay. Uh, where are we going to hold it? There's not a lot of space, to be honest. We'll probably have to throw it down somewhere like in here. Okay. Storage. Yeah, clothing rack is is the thing I'm gonna basically put down here. Clear all I and mean, it's gonna be like just headgear, utility, normal power, miscellaneous. Yeah, let's basically just do everything besides armor. Okay. Great, two belt is done. Okay. Yeah. Force wear wait, why is two belt knackered? Oh, it's because it's a prototype. Fantastic. Okay, make another prototype. I mean it's fine for the time being.
Okay. Floor wise. I want to try and keep as much as a, of a growing area as possible for us to use. Okay. But we get that concreted up. Take a bit of time. We'll use a bit of our concrete, but it's okay. We've got enough stored, it's not an issue. And if not, we can always get more sort of thrown down. Okay. Power for it, guys. Okay. Fantastic. The next order would be, would be we need to clear out this section. Just clear it out and we'll put it in concrete. Yeah. Mind that as well. Okay, I think it's nicely done in concrete. Fantastic. I mean, struck compact steel. We knew it was there. How do you? It's not like a big surprise. Okay, build that. Actually, to be honest, in that stone, that's going to do something like this. Okay. Get that all built up. Clear that all out. All nice and dandy. So it looks professional. Nice to quickly check something. Okay, yeah, I made a mistake. I forgot to turn something back on when I was doing the intro video, the intro bit with the diary. So yeah. I was wondering why everything had been a bit peaceful. Um, yeah. yeah. That explains it. Yeah, force where the utility bill. Wait, you dropped what was this? Police belt? What does this do? Aiming, oh no, actually. I'd rather you have the police belt. Construction, we haven't got really anyone that does construction. Like your construction is okay, but I don't think I set you to it. Did I? Oh no, I did. Okay. So you can have the equipment belt. Right. Right, with that done, we can start up the lab. So, how are we looking for con? Actually, concrete looks pretty rough, so we probably need to actually put in some more concrete. So, for the time being, a bit of downtime as our soldiers get themselves set up. Uh, for the lab, I want to have the ability to have. It needs to be too deep, really, for the research. Okay. Something like this. And how big does this have to be? One. Yeah, so basically that's where that's gonna be. That's where that's gonna be. 
and we can have like a med ward and drugs facility set up here okay We can, re we can restructure the lab for it to be better as time goes on. For the time being, I just want to have some more research capacity, for lack of a better word. Um, power, we also need to get the power grid set up. Yeah, something like this would probably be just fine. Okay. How's the cat's food levels? Cat's food levels is fine. Actually, it's not fine, but we can have food. I mean, it's in the home area. So we can just go into the kitchen and eat stuff out of the home area. Machining is coming along fantastically well. Do I want to make some ammo? It means you shoot faster, isn't that true? I probably want to get a couple of those out for my combat guys. Okay. I'm going to put that to critical, just so we get stuff off the floor. Yeah, get your construction up just a tad. Concrete, concrete for days. Okay. Lightwise. Probably something like this. So we have some light outside of the facility so we know what's going on. Yeah. Something like that would probably work. The floodlight is probably also something I could be get behind having up as well. At least just for our defensive such setup here. Just we have some light in this area. Are we looking power wise? We're okay power wise. Okay. Okay, that set that up. That's fine. Okay. Clear out all that stuff, that's all going nicely. Food is the next issue once again. Okay. So how is our electrical situation now looking? Bit tight. Bit tight, okay. So I'm gonna reinstall this down here. I just realized I messed up that placement. Because I need to have no, I need to have space here for the 
research cabinets and stuff. Okay. Right here. There we go. Get that all set up. Get double lab set up here. Machining is done. Fantastic. Now, I want to get some ability to do stuff, so we need gunpowder. Medial firearms. No, dumb fire munitions. Yeah, there we go. Gunpowder. Right here. Get that up and going. Good quality, normal quality, fantastic. All right, I'm going to install some beds. Probably wooden beds, but I just wanted to get what am I doing? Okay, because what we can just do instead... Reinstall... These beds... Here... Along with... That and the heater, because then we can convert this room to something a bit more useful. Okay. Yeah, deconstruct these sandbags. Don't need them here. Okay. Okay. The ammo pack is done. Not great quality, but does increase our cooldown factor, yeah. Is there anybody else that can benefit from having this? He's got the two belt on. I mean, it's not a great tool. It's not a great uh, ammo pack, but it'll do the job. Okay. So, got a little research lab set up. Got a med bay set up. Swine's down there. Um, so if we wanted to, what I would like to do, to be honest, is I want to do yeah, this put this here because I'd love to turn this into the armory so we can just have all our gear and equipment for that kind of thing stored out of the way. Something's happening. 
Yeah, weapons. And set it as a important priority, yeah. Just trying to tidy up the base, really. Bit annoyed myself. I accidentally let I like when I do the intro video, I put the game down to peaceful so I can do the intro video without stuff happening, and I forgot to turn it back up to its normal uh, strive to survive setting. So we haven't actually had any combat, which is a bit annoying. Um, kind of hoping we were going to get some. We are starting to get a bit low on food, though. To be honest. Uh, we might have to hunt some horses. And now packer. Okay. But now we have double research going. That will allow us to get through gunpowder quite quickly so we can start making some more defensive weapons. Hunting a horse with a submachine gun. <laughs> We are not being merciful to these animals, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. So that's coming along nicely. Research materials. Probably one thing that we do want to throw in at some point, production-wise. Um, a fueled smithy. Helps us just chug through that kind of task. Animal corpses is fine. Make it critical level to put animal corpses on. Get this stuff built, get stuff researched. Growing some rice. Yeah, just peppering a horse with gunpowder with 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 <laughs> Bat with rifle rounds. Not the most humane thing to do. Okay. Storehouse is a bit of a mess still. But production is coming along fine. Let's speed up construction. Nothing else. It's really doing marvels for its ability to build stuff. Okay, so that's up and running. And then we can do stuff like smelt weapons, smelt metal from slag. Yeah, you know your standard, your standard spiel. Okay. So in all. Where we stand right now, I'm quite happy with it. Colony is coming along fine. We've got enough light throughout the area that we haven't got major issues. Everything's covered. Yeah, so we're, we're getting good. We've got basic meds set up. We've got basic meds set up. We've got basic... Um, Yeah, basic med set up. We've got production is going, we've got some small things we can make, some armors, helmets, we can replace that kind of thing. Got the armory set up, which is what I wanted. We can put some equipment in here now. Probably gonna put start putting the battle gear we when we haven't got it on, just so it doesn't wear out as quickly. Kitchen is turning out to be okay. Probably the next thing we want to do is we want to probably want to expand the barracks out. Um, this I'm not really happy with per se. We can manage. I can probably 
Deconstruct table and a chair, and we can move private swine in, um, which is probably something we want to do. But eventually, we are going to have we've got to have to build a barracks outside of the main, outside the complex. Like this place was never built for this kind of thing. Okay, so we can now build basic firearms. Okay. Right, but that's for next time, folks. So, quite happy we've had a little other of out reset outpost 36 is developing. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Sorry, it's been a bit quiet. I forgot to turn the difficulty back up. Um, so, we've had a little bit of quiet time to build up, but it's not always a problem. But we'll see what happens next time. I've been Connor tonight. This has been Sergeant Kerno and the rest of Alpha Company at Research Outpost 36. See you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>